How to cook Japanese frozen yellowtail, hamachi. Table of contents. Chapter 1. How to defrost yellowtail. Pour ice into the container that will hold yellowtail, making sure to spread it throughout yellowtail. Start thawing by adding water so that it is distributed throughout the area. Thaw yellowtail chilled in ice water in the refrigerator. The thawing will be over in about three hours. How to handle yellowtail. Thaw yellowtail in the refrigerator and wipe it with kitchen paper. Cut the thawed yellowtail fillet along the pectoral and pelvic fins. It's the part called karma in Japanese. To be used as a product, wrap it in reed paper and store it instead of discarding it. Remove the abdominal bone. If you cut into the meat and bones with an upside down knife and remove the belly bone, you can leave a lot of meat neatly. Cut the belly, parasu, of yellowtail. Cut off the ara, rough part. Store in the freezer if you are not using it for cooking or immediately. Cut the back and belly of yellowtail fillet. Scrape off the chi bone at the joint where the back and belly are separated. The ara part can also be used for simmered dishes and soup. This time, I'm going to make two dishes, yellowtail herb grill using back meat and yellowtail radish using belly meat. Let's use the back meat and the belly meat separately. I'm going to cut the back part. Point. He back part is thick and tall, so be careful not to let the knife rest too much. Next, cut the belly part. Point, the belly part is thin, so use your knife diagonally to cut it. If you remove the skin from the base of the tail, you can use it for sashimi. Cut the edge slightly and insert a knife, shaking the skin to remove it. Do not move the knife.
remove the skin in the same way. When eating sashimi, remove the skin. There is no need to remove the skin when grilling yellowtail, radish or herbs. To prevent loss, please grill the parts of the karma and harisu with salt or pickle. Please use the parts from which the backbone and abdominal bones have been removed by boiling them to prevent loss. Next is how to store the town. Point. Yellowtail oxidizes when exposed to air, so avoid letting air touch the meat. Be sure to wrap it in plastic wrap and place it in a container. Once wrapped, store it in the refrigerator. Even if you store the unused yellowtail in the refrigerator with a wrapped Tupperware, be sure to eat it within two days. How to cook Japanese frozen yellowtail. Chapter 2. Yellowtail Radish. First, we will prepare yellowtail. Sprinkle salt on both sides of yellowtail. Point. Sprinkling salt will remove excess moisture and make it more delicious. Wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. This is the preparation after letting it rest for 30 minutes. Put the yellow tail in the boiling water. Point. A quick boil will remove the odor. Remove from heat. Rinse gently with water. Transfer to another container. Next is the basic method of making soup stock. Kelp. Bonito flakes. Put the kelp in a certain amount of water and leave it for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, turn on the fire. Remove the kelp just before it boils. Wait until it boils. Once it boils, turn off the heat. Add bonito flakes. Leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, strain. Strain thoroughly so that the bonito flakes do not get mixed in.
prepare Japanese style soup stock for boiling radish. Soup stock. Put the basic soup stock from earlier into the pot. Light soy sauce and mirin. Add light soy sauce and mirin. Put on fire. Wait until it boils. Next, prepare the radish. Put an appropriate amount of salt and rice, 5% of water, in a pot. By adding rice, the color of the radish looks delicious and turns into a beautiful white. Cut the radish into 3 cm wide pieces. Please peel not only the epidermis but also the white fruit part boldly. I'll peel the radish. It's a method called katsura peeling. Once the skin is peeled, make a cross-shaped cut. Put the radish in a pot with water, salt and rice and put it on the fire. Once it boils, turn the heat to medium and boil until it comes out easily when inserted with a bamboo skewer. It is okay if the bamboo skewer passes through easily. Remove from heat and remove slime with water. Easy to wash and put in a vat. Add it to the Japanese style soup stock from earlier. Put on fire. Once it boils, turn the heat to medium and simmer for 7 minutes. Point. Like Odin, the flavor will infuse after it is boiled. After 7 minutes, the Japanese-style daikon radish is ready. Next, prepare the yellowtail radish stewed soup. Mirin Dark soy sauce Sashimi soy sauce Light soy sauce Cooking sake Granulated brown sugar You can also use castor sugar instead of granulated brown sugar. If you can't get sashimi soy sauce, please substitute it with tamari soy sauce. Put all ingredients into pot. Add the ingredients and turn on the fire. Point. Heat while melting the brown sugar. Point. If you boil it too much, the alcohol component of mirin may burn and cause fire, so be careful. Since no water is used, 
it can be stored for about a month. Please mix it while checking if the brown sugar is melted. This sauce can be used for various dishes such as sukiyaki and katsudon. Confirm that the granulated brown sugar has melted, and if it springs up, turn off the fire. Next, simmer yellowtail in the stewed soup from earlier. Pour the stewed soup from earlier into the pot. Also add grated ginger. Add the prepared yellowtail. Put on fire. Point. Boil on medium to high heat. Continue to simmer without changing the heat, making sure to touch the bottom of the pot from time to time. Boil until thickened. The estimated stewing time is about 20 to 25 minutes. It's okay if it thickens. If the juice soaks into the town, turn off the heat. You can also cool it down and store it in the freezer. Serve on a plate. Serve with the Japanese style radish from earlier. I'll prepare boiled spinach for coloring. You can change it to boiled okra. Arrange yellowtail on a plate. Japanese-style boiled radish and spinach are also served. Finally, pour the juice over and it's done. How to cook Japanese frozen yellowtail. Chapter 3. Grilled Yellowtail with Herbs First, pickle yellowtail with herbs. Yellowtail. Extra virgin olive oil. Basil. Place yellowtail in a plastic bag and add the olive oil. The amount of olive oil is 15% of the amount of yellowtail. Add basil, basil is 10% of the amount of yellowtail. Keep the lid on. Make herb sauce. Extra virgin olive oil. Basil. Garlic. Salt, black pepper. Add the extra virgin olive oil, basil and garlic to a blender. Once the basil is well mixed, add salt and pepper. Add to mixer again. Grilled yellowtail with herbs. Yellowtail. Salt. Black pepper. Extra virgin olive oil, garlic, tomato, white wine, leaf, decoration, lemon, basil sauce I made earlier. 
Sprinkle salt and pepper on both sides of the marinated yellowtail. Heat a frying pan and add olive oil. Add sliced garlic and fry until fragrant. Point. Fry on medium heat to prevent garlic from burning. When you smell the garlic, add yellowtail and fry. Cook both sides. Once both sides are lightly browned, add the tomatoes. Put in the white wine, cover the frying pan and steam it. For steaming, the umami does not melt out, and it is baked on a gentle fire to make it juicy. Roast the tomatoes until they are soft. Once it's baked, it's done. Serve on a plate. Serve the leaves. Serve with yellowtail and tomato. Add garlic. Spread the basil sauce on both sides of the tomatoes. Finish by garnishing with lemon and basil.